couple of farms, golf courses, and Research Triangle Park are all that separate these bitter rivals. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Carolina will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Tackle made at the 37. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Outside after a nice pickup. That's a deal of five on the ball. That brings him second and five. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Hey, let's get that ball, Dean. Let's get that ball right here. Red two. X. Go. He laterals the ball. And he tackles him hard at the 44. That's a deal of two on the play. Third down. From their own 44 yard line. It's third down. Nice run, and he's brought down. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 50. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And they make the stop at the 49. Houston gets three yards on the play. Blackwell is the deep man awaiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 20-yard line, Second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. That makes it seven. Nice run up the middle. First down. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Yeah, 
Here's a running play. And they hit him in the backfield. Tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Fires quick. Tips. They know what to expect on third down, and we're right in place to break up the pass. Allen, the return man. And this one is a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 23. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He is drilled at the 25. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Dog four. Green 15. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. Blackwell will be the return man. Tackle made at the 41. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 36. They hand it off. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. He's going to go for the home run. And he hauls it in. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. He scrambled. Brought down around the 12 yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. They'll bring him down at the 12. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 12. Here we go, here we go. 
He might have a chance. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. That'll make it 35. And he hits him hard at the one. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. He's tackled at the one-yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Touchdown, UNC. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 60 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Co has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Hands it to the back. Gets out to about the 31. the 39 from their own 39 yard line first down up the middle for a nice game it to the 47. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled around the 39 yard line. forward to about the 39. We played one. North Carolina leads it 7 nothing. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. After positive yardage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Tackle made at the 32 yard line. 
And this is the tenth play of the drive. Nice run there. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Throws complete. Big loss. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all this one great kick he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 22 yard line with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way North Carolina holds a four-point lead he's gonna try and scramble and they make the stop around the 23 yard line from their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's on the run, and he's gonna come up with a sack. from their own 17-yard line. Third down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. Allen back to return it. It's away and it's a booming punt. Allen takes it at the 47, brought down at the 47 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. the 26 yard line first down he fights forward to about the 23 it out to maybe the 20 yard line they're about four yards away here on third down the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation fires out to his receiver and he's taken down around the 11 yard line
and he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the eight-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to run with it and only one man to beat. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. It was a six-play, 48-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big one more. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Yeah, new lightning. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Green on the give. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He airs it out. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. the deep man awaiting the return and this one is a beauty they'll bring him down at the 33 yard line they ran the ball very well on their last drive and it resulted in six North Carolina State holds a field goal lead Fires that quickly, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 33. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. He's got nowhere to go. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Whoa, he just took a licking. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 37-yard line, Second down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Oh, a 
one almost picked off. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Carolina State has a three-point lead. Brought down right around the 20. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Nice run to the left there. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. The Tar Heels will use their first time out of the half. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes his way to about the 45. Three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's hit immediately. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. quick he's got another one he steps out around the 20 yard line man that is a great call and a big game especially on an early down first and 10 ball on the 20 and they'll bring him down behind the line there are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down but when it's that bad i don't care who you are you're going down for a loss He scrambled, and they got it. Zings it over the middle, touchdown. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Five wide. He's taken down at the 38. NC State's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 45-yard line. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects them here in this situation. And two. So it's 
third down now, and they're going to need about four. Armstrong makes a handoff. The Tar Heels using their third and final timeout. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Blackwell awaiting the return. He fields the punt at the 16. Tackle made at the 22. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. North Carolina is up by four. Counter to the left. He's to the 40. And down he goes at about the 49. A great first half comes to a close. 14-10, Tar Heel. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams though continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see the most successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. North Carolina is up four. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Passes to the back, incomplete. Try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Third and 14. Ball in 34. Quick out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. That brings us Allen is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 29. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice 
run there. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. Room around the corner. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Houston gets the ball. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. And he's going to come up with a sack. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's taken down at the 48. Loss of a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Blackwell is back deep to return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. That's a game of the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 31-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. 26 right. 26 right. Makes it to the 47. Gain of nine on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 47. it out and he hits him hard at the 43 that's a loss of four yards this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play second and 14 ball on the 43 Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. North Carolina is up by four. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it fly. That close to being intercepted. Allen is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. 
Allen takes it at the 14. Brought down at the 18. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Got some open field. Gets to around the 42. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Four down, four down. I got two. I got two. Hey, check my 33. Check my green nine. Green. Easy. Easy. Where? Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Quick pass, brought down at the 45. Call it again, three yards. That brings up fourth and seven. Blackwell, the return man. Out of bounds, around the 15-yard line. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. North Carolina is up four. He's out of bounds right around the 18-yard line. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it third and one. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 48. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 46. Short over the middle. He's taken down at the 39. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Pulls in the pass and steps out. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And 
and he's shoved out of bounds around the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Carolina's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Nice run up the middle. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. North Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. He steps out right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Got a man tackled for a loss. Six yards setback. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 40. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Gets it. He's in space. He's at midfield. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They go with the run. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. North Carolina is up a score. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Finds a 
finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a gain of four on one play. That'll bring up third. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 13. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Nearly intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the 31. chance he's brought down in the open field first down 10 yards to go ball on their own 43 Houston on the give and they'll get him in the backfield no gain on the play that makes it second and 10 Tackle made at the 46-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. scrambling and they make the stop around the 35 yard line from the 35 yard line first down lets it fly complete he's got room He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pitches it, and he's taken down at the 14. That brings up second and nine. 
from the 14 yard line. It's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Wolfpack. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he converts the extra point. Carolina State ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. In a game like this, where one play can turn the tide, everyone has to be sharp, and the senses are heightened even more because of the rivalry trophy that's on the line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. North Carolina is up seven. Fires it out. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 26 mark, 26 mark. Let's go. Three and five. Three and five. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled right around the 50. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. game he took what the defense gave him that time which is okay it keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable it's second and six ball on the 46 zipped it out and that was almost picked off a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter They bring the quarterback down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets it out quickly. Yeah. 
brought down around the 43 yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He makes his way to about the 48. He's scrambling. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's taken down at the 18. That brings in second and one. And two, go! Three! Zips it to the back. And he is drilled at the 16-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the nine. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here's a quick throw. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Down he goes, right around the four-yard line. He's on the run, and he's sacked. Kill, kill, kill. The spike will stop the clock. And this is the 13th play of this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's leveled at the nine yard line. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. This is a big play right here. It's fourth and goal from the four-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That tackle just sealed the deal. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 24-17, Tar Heel. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? North Carolina comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.